Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Today is Wednesday, October 10th, 2018, and last night it was game number two in as many days for LHSN. That game featured Lynchburg Volleyball battling the Yellow Jackets of Randolph-Macon College, and Lynchburg looked pretty good in the first set. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. All of these coming in the first set. Lynchburg had not won a single set against the Yellow Jackets since 2016. First point of the day, it's Lindsay Lang knocking that one down. She had double-digit kills for the third straight game in her 2018 season. Long point here, Cornelius sets up Sydney Jameson, the senior, with one of her seven kills on the night. A great night for her at home. Coach Ellinger coaching up the squad. As it got a little testy in the middle of the first set, Randolph Macon came back and took the lead, but Lynchburg would continue to put out the, their best stuff in the first set. A dig by Sydney Frank and a kill for Emma Drake. She had 12 on the evening for the freshman. A late rally by the Yellow Jackets, but it wasn't enough in set number one. Lynchburg took that one, but Randolph Macon would take the next three to come out of Lynchburg with a 3-1 win. Sydney Frank with 11 kills and nine digs. Lynchburg drops to three and four in conference play. All right, let's move on to Hornets in action today. We have three games for you. The first at 4 p.m. from Bridgewater College, which is in Bridgewater, Virginia. It's a big one. Number 18, women's soccer nationally ranked, taking on Bridgewater College, who received votes and actually was in 25th last week in a different poll. 4-0 in conference play. Right now, the number one team in the ODAC. Lynchburg women's soccer a bit scorned after last week, so look out, Bridgewater. Men's soccer is down the street tonight at 7 p.m. under the lights at Randolph College. This Randolph College team, they might be 3-2-1 in conference play, but they have some big wins this year over Randolph-Macon and most recently over Bridgewater. So men's soccer not taking them for granted this evening down the street on Rivermont Avenue. And tonight, our game on LHSN will feature the Hornets. Which one? The real Hornets wear red and white and black. The other Hornets wear some blue in there, too. Coverage for LHSN begins at 645. If you're going to the game, make sure you have some gas in your car because you have to travel to Liberty University Field Hockey Complex to check it out. And let's move on to upcoming schedules, and we're looking at tomorrow. It's more action for Lynchburg Volleyball. They've got a busy week on the road. They will be at Southern Virginia at 7 o'clock tomorrow before traveling to Catholic for two games against Catholic and Christopher Newport this weekend. We'll talk more about that tomorrow, though. One campus event. Hold on to your seats, folks. It's going to be a while. Ha! You thought it was an actual event. It's a fall break. This day through this Sunday. Just rest and relax, folks. You've earned it if you're a student. You've earned it if you're a staff or faculty member as well. Use this time to catch up on some R&R so you can finish strong through the rest of the semester. Uh, if you still have some midterms, kill those today and go home and chill. That's going to do it for our show on this Wednesday. Don't forget, you can always follow along with your Lynchburg Hornets by downloading the One Nation app for iOS and Android devices. Until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., I'm Joe Hutzler reminding you that it is a great day to be a Hornet, and we are One Nation.